Hello everyone, how are you guys? Uh, welcome to the Statistic for All class uh, in lecture number 5. And today our topic is graphs and chart. Koko Manzur is here, your teacher, instructor, your friend, and whatever you can call it, uh, I don't mind it, right? So we're all learners, we're all students, uh, we are to learn. This is a platform for learning and sharing, and right? So, okay, let's start the lecture. We have various types of graphs. So the most common and the most easiest is called as bar graph. Now what is bar graph? As the name clarifies, you see we have bars. You see, you can see here in the screen, these are different bars and we have measured it on certain values, right? So when you have data in qualitative form nature, so we uh, mostly summarize that data and can present it into a um, bar graphs, right? Like in the previous lecture, we have learned frequency and relative frequency and pre uh, person frequency distributions, etc. So when we have that data in any of these formats, so we can convert into bar graphs. How is it done? It's very simple. On horizontal axis, we measure the classes, the labels, right, of each class. On the vertical axis, either we will have frequency or relative frequency or a person frequency. And then we draw the graphs according to the height of the, uh, the 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 value that is given in the uh, frequency distribution or person frequency distribution right how is it done look at here so here this was our um, you can say frequency distribution as we have discussed in the previous lecture as well there are various uh, people uh, guests who have rated uh, the accommodation of uh, a specific in lemarada in so two people said that it was poor, three said it was below average, five said it was average, and nine said it was above average, and one person, one guest said it was excellent. How to plot it? So on vertical axis, sorry, on horizontal axis, we have taken all the ratings, poor, below average, average, etc. On vertical axis, we have taken the frequency. So it is maximum nine, so we can take simply one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, right? Seven, eight, nine. So poor has two, frequency so this is you see it is equivalent to this two then below average three so below average you see it's almost here right so we have drawn it like this. average five right and similarly be above average <coughs> an excellent one so means whatever the frequencies accordingly you can draw the bar graph then we have another uh, chart we can also present the data in chart that is called as pi chart if you love pizza you can easily understand pi right pi means it's a chart that is represented in its round circle so most commonly graphical device for presenting relative frequency distribution for qualitative data so mostly we are using it for what relative frequency distribution or person uh, frequency distribution so it's very easy to understand and very easy to understand the entire meaning of the data. So what we do, first we draw the circle and then we divide that circle into different <coughs> portions based on the frequencies, relative frequencies. So how to calculate it? Since uh, in circle we have 360 degree, so relative frequency for example if it is 0.25, so 0.25 multiplied by 360 that makes 90 degrees. So you can, <coughs> sorry, you can draw it 90 degree portion of it. So don't worry, uh, you know, you're not supposed to draw by hand now through Microsoft Excel or SPSS or any software. You just enter the data and you can easily draw it, right? So it will look like this. You see, we had the 45% uh, uh, above average, sorry, 5% exactly excellent, 2% said poor and 5 15% said below average. <coughs> Now, what is the use of this, uh, this uh, pie chart? So, as you can see, it's very uh, uh, interesting and important point is that you see, just by looking at this circle, <coughs> you can see that almost 50% of the people have given the rating above average to that restaurant. So, it helps uh, the viewer um, to understand the entire meaning of that data, right? So, when the data is presented in table, or so they that might not that might not be very much clear but just looking at this chart you can easily say that maximum people were of the view that the accommodation of that restaurant was above average then one quarter people were of the view that it was average and only few people were 
of the view that it is either excellent or poor. So this is the benefit of uh, drawing that pie chart. I hope the concept is clear. No, if still there is any confusion, question, so you can ask. Thank you very much. Take care and stay blessed.